In this screencast I'll show you how to run your dynamic process simulation. So the first thing that we have to do is hit this play button in order to load the simulation into the DynSim calculation engine. And once we've done this we are then able to hit this play button which will start the simulation off and running. Now this is a bit different from a steady state simulator which would just solve and calculate all of the values. We're using dynamic simulation which is changing over time. So we actually have a simulation time shown up here in the left hand corner to show how long the simulation has been running for. In order to see what's happening here we can click on this tab over here, types, and under references we can, we can put a flow indicator. So we click on flow rate indicator, we then put that onto the flow sheet and we enter the name of the stream that we want to monitor which in this case is S2. Click OK. So at the moment the flow rate is zero and that's because the control valve is shut. I know it's shut because first of all it, there's zero flow but also because the valve is red. If we double click on this valve we can actually open this right up. Click OK. The valve's now gone orange to indicate that it's partially open and we can also see that the flow rate in stream S2 is starting to increase. And because of the settings on that valve, it'll take 30 seconds for that to fully open and for that flow rate to come to steady state. We can speed things up by increasing the speed at which the simulation is running. And then a bit more quickly, we get to the valve being green. And we also get to the flow rate shown here to, to be in a, a steady state value with the higher pressure drum source here supplying chemicals through the control valve through to the sink here. And we can also pause the simulation, we can make other changes, we can add other features, but this is the basics of how to run a very simple simulation in DynSim.